You know, sometimes I worry about people and the way they interpret some things. Especially under one very specific topic that impacts the actions they make. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Now, the, to the specific topic I'm referring to, the ideals I'm referring to, is the idea of what freedom is. I know, kind of ridiculous, isn't it? And in fact, I'm pretty sure I've talked somewhere along the lines of this before, but honestly, there's one thing that came to my mind earlier today that... Yeah, I, I know I haven't directly said this, but a lot of people have a tendency to look at freedom and, well, they'll go about it in a way where their mind will be... This is not everyone. Keep that in mind. As I say this, this is not everybody. This is just a lot of people that I have come across. Anyway, I digress. These people will have a tendency to, in their mind, go... Oh, this is just an action. It's no, no harm's done. There's not going to be any consequence. With in uh, going about it very naively, I've done this before. I used to think like this. Admittedly, I used to think like this a lot. However, coming to terms with this a while ago, my brain has gotten to the point where it's like every time a very specific action under the idea of feeling free goes, causes consequence, negative consequence, whether via argument, fight, slightly different, or time-related punishment. Good example of this? Well, there are quite a few, actually. I think a good medical example of this and there are a lot of people who do it anyway and I get why because I've talked to enough people to understand that but a good example of this is doing things like drugs or drinking or smoking medically and for a lot of people morally it's a really bad idea In theory, given specific circumstances, some people look at it and go, oh, it helps me calm down, or it helps me cope, like that kind of stuff. But these three specific things that I listed, well, they have a tendency to damage the human body. Extremely slowly, but definitely surely. And... It has a bad time-related outcome. You go on and excessively do it, eventually you're going to have medical problems. Whether it's one of them or another, don't matter. In fact, one of my exes, who has now passed away, passed away because of this. And I had warned her. Several times. I didn't care at that point because I didn't care what she did at that point because she and I were not together anymore. I checked up on her every now and then after oh, months of dis distancing myself to calm my mind and warned her hey, bad idea. It's not going to go well. She does it anyway and now she's passed away. At first, the reason was unknown, but it came out to be that. And of course, I'm not surprised. I feel bad for her family, and I don't like the fact that she did pass away. She had a whole life that she could have had ahead of her. She messed it up, though. Because she decided to make a free choice. For those who are listening and I'm watching, air quotes around free. But is it, though? Yeah, fine, you have the freedom to choose. That's a no-brainer. But it doesn't lead to a good outcome. Under several circumstances, another example I can give for this is actually relationship stuff. A lot, and I mean a lot, of people that I have come across 
have the mindset of, oh, I can do whatever what I want. As long as they don't find out, it doesn't matter. But I've come to learn that people find out one way or the other. Take cheating, for example. All of you who have been on the channel long enough know that I've been cheated on. Multiple times. I find out, eventually. One way or the other. I'm the perfect example of what I'm talking about here. The freedom is like, oh, I can do whatever I want with anybody I want to. It won't have consequence regardless of relationship status or not. I'll just have to bend the truth a little bit. But here's the fact. We always find out. If it's the guy do thinking that way against a woman or vice versa, the truth always comes out and damages whatever's going on. That's another really good example because it's so constant. And not just for me, it... I can't say how many people I've talked to who have this predicament. I, I, I don't know. I think that's another good example. Let me see. Let me think. It, I, I'm trying to varietize on this. I think one last good example would be... Work stuff. Some people, not many from what I've seen, but maybe there's a lot more than what I think. Some people have a tendency to go into work and leave at their own will. They're like, oh, well, I still came in, so I won't get into trouble. But the fact of the matter is the less you come in, the less you go in on time, or the less you don't show up, or the less you stay until the end of the shift, the more likely you are risking just losing the job. Now, this is a no-brainer, I know, but there are so many people who don't consider this. And these are just three very, very good examples in my mind of why freedom really isn't as free as a lot of people like to interpret. More like the illusion of choice is what a lot of people like to go about. But the reality is, yeah, you have the freedom of choice, but each decision has consequence. Something no one wants to consider. And quite frankly, it's sad. It is very sad how true this actually is. Now these are my thoughts on the matter. It was something that kind of came to my mind while I was actually working. I was busy, but randomly... While taking like a short five minute break, that thought crosses my mind. I'm like, oh, okay, now I gotta think this. Great. But I don't know. These are my thoughts. What are your guys's? You guys have any thoughts or opinions on the matter? Uh, any indif in indifferent or similar thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Um, while that is on my mind though, I'm going to try to start this pattern. I don't know how long it's going to last. But... First, um, for just accidentally crossing the channel, I do want to shout out uh, user... Sorry if I pronounce the name wrong if you are watching this video as well. Garav? So it's spelled G-A-U-R-A-V. Who commented on my I'm trying to figure out which video. I have it on here. I'm not gonna I'm not going to go too much into detail, but who commented on my treating with treating with equ equilibrium video. Um said what he thought would be accurate and his own opinion on the matter to a degree. No, to a full on degree and well, shout out to you, man, for that. Uh, I actually liked the response. I actually gave it a heart. I didn't have, my, I don't, I didn't exactly know how to respond to it, but I at least gave it a heart nonetheless. So shout out to him for uh, the comment that he made. Um, if you have not checked out that video yet, definitely go do so because I discuss something that actually got triggered in my mind. Now that I think about it, by the same source that triggered my mindset in this video. Um, so go check that video out. You'll be able to find it in one of, uh, in the, I believe it's the discussion rant playlist, which you'll see on the right side of my head. Uh, if you want to check out videos that are more about me specifically, personally, uh, click the link on the left side. 
If you like gaming videos or other live type stuff, whether it's skits or outdoorsy stuff, check out the channel itself because I do stuff like this quite frequently. I do a live video of sorts every day alongside a gaming video of sorts. As long as it's a nostalgic enough game to me. Or, you know, just nostalgic in general, anyway. Anyways, I digress. Uh, definitely uh, leave a comment if you want me to, um, of your own opinion on what I've talked about today. And I'll try to keep in the pattern of reading it in the future. It might be about a week before I'm actually get in, get actually able to get into this pattern because this won't be uploaded until six or seven days after it's been scheduled. In any case, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.